Hey, hey, hey. Hello guys, welcome to another episode. This is a viewer request for teaching formations. Okay, so formations are a very critical part of this game. Uh, it's because like it, uh, formations gives you a chance to hit above your weight or defend above your weight. So I'm gonna start with the basic. Sorry, give me a minute. Uh, I'm gonna start with the basic. Boop. So formations, what are formations? Formations are the thing that you attack with. So there are six formations in the game. Infantry, calf, spear, infantry, calf, spear, infantry, spear, spear, calf, and cavalry, infantry. So where do you unlock the formations? Formations can be unlocked in your formations. After doing research, you get to unlock... Okay, where is it? Okay, here. Level 1, 2, 3. Uh, yep, and here. So, uh, this is a viewer request. So, I'm gonna teach you guys uh, what formation and the concept of PvP. And uh, you're gonna learn or take away some things. But this is not 100%. So, for the theory... Yeah, minute, let me bust up my trusty word pad. For the theory, there are going to be two assumptions. Mm. Oh. Let's see what is a good number. 22, I think. Yep. So, assumption number one is stats are equal. So, this is basically the first, the basics of formation, like what to choose. Uh, second assumption, composition is equal. So what does composition mean? So composition means uh, it's always going to be 1 million calf, 1 million spear, 1 million inf for both defender and attacker. So this is the very, this is to show you what formation is correct. And uh, formation is part one, composition is part two. Composition is a bit difficult to explain because the, there are a lot of variables like if your stats is stronger, your composition, uh, you can have more leeway with your composition, uh, compositions. So having stats difference basically means the person with the lowest set stats has to pick the correct formation to reduce losses or to kill more. So why is this? Let me show you the... Let me find where is it. Uh. Formation drill. Uh, where is it? Okay, so... So this is the first thing you see in the game. Choose the right formation to effectively counter your enemy. All formation, yep, reach the mastery tower. So what does this mean? So your infantry counters your spear, your spear counters your calf, and your calf counters your infantry. Your bowl will always uh, be neutral, like one-on-one -on -one to everything. But the bow has a drawback because the bow attacks slower and uh, it's only effective while your wall is up and your wall diminishes very fast then the reason why people don't use bow is because of uh, that reason so and due to both not having counter so when the la line like when each troop fight each, the other side there's no chance for x3 okay so let me see whether i bring up my notepad again okay so this is the uh, the reason is because that if you, if you, what your troop types counter you got x3 in damage. So I'm going to give you guys an example from a battle report if I can find it. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which one is on safe? Uh this one let me see whether it's uh, effective. So, uh, Songnam is uh, rallied me, and his rally had more dragons, and he has definitely way better stats. Look at that. But uh, due to that, I have the defender's advantage, where I have a 12.1 million army size, I was able to successfully defend. So, how can I show you the effective counter? So, let me see. Uh, so, look, his enemy calf hit my spear. I lost 11k. But when my calf hit his infantry, due, due to the fact, see, uh, at 7 seconds, when my calf hit his infantry, he lost 31k. As you can tell, for the, so the calf counters the infantry, causing 3x more. 
and when his calf hit my infantry, I lost three uh, divide by three lesser. If my spear hits his infantry due to the fact that infantry counter spear, I take the infantry takes reduced three damage, so it's only sixty five. Uh, what else is a good counter to show? Uh, if I can find a calf on calf one, let me see if I can find a calf on calf. Hey, no, infantry on infantry. Let me see. So infantry on infantry. Let me see. Uh, so uh, I know it's ten seconds in. Okay, so if this is the break even one, my infantry attack his infantry is about break even. So you can see the disparity though. So if I get countered. If uh, one or one to one is about this number, if you get counted is x3, and if you get counted is divide by three, uh, or not divide by three, uh, like one third. Uh. So you get the rationale why formations are very important. Okay, so when to choose formation? So let's say, so looking at the battle report. So let's say if the this composition and stats are equal, my formation is imcav. What is the correct f formation to counter me? Is actually calf infantry. Reason being is because my his infantry uh, my calf is tanking while his infantry is tanking so when my calf hits his inf i will do x3 damage then when his calf hits my calf is only one damage so when his infantry hit my calf it will be divided by three and when his calf hits my calf it will be one so he's up to 1.3 but when my calf hits his infantry i'll get three and when my infantry hits his infantry, I'll get one. So the if I use this is the perfect counter formation for this uh countering formation. So re remember when I show you the battle report, your line one and line two always attacks earlier, and your line three always attacks later. There are, there are some exceptions though where your calf run forward, but I think it's just a visual bug though. But this is the general idea of formation. So his due to that my calf is the one tanking while his infantry is the one tanking. Overall, my calf infantry will be dealing 4x to the player, while his infantry calf will be only dealing 1.3 to me. Because my, my calf front line is tanking both his infantry and calf. While my calf count uh, attacking his imp is dealing 3x. And my infantry is dealing one to one. So let's say the using this logic, let's say the next formation. Let me see what's the next formation in the game. Give me a minute. Uh. Uh, shit. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, print up the spreadsheet. Uh, do you want me to explain it again? Ah, never mind. I'll just use the next example. I always forget that my notepad is either off or on. Okay, the next example is uh, spear infantry. So if I am spear inf and what should the the attacking formation be? If I okay, if not I'm if I see spear in formation with equal composition, I'm gonna go in with inf spear. Logic is the same as above though, if compositions are equal. So if his spear attacks my infantry, he will be dealing me 0 0.3 damage. And if if inf attacks my inf, he will be dealing me one damage. If but my infantry attacks his spear, I'll be dealing one. While my spear attacks his spear, I'll be dealing three. If my spear attacks his spear, I'll be dealing one. So it's the same logic as above. The only uh then after this uh you're forgetting that uh, no 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 you're forgetting. There's also a third line of cavalry. Uh, there's also for example in this. Formation, there will be a third line of calf though. But due to the fact that the third line attacks later, or somehow rather calf always jankies up in front. 
There's also a difference of defending and attacking, but this is the basic logic of what formation to choose. Okay, then the last one will be the spear calf. If I see spear calf, I'm gonna choose a front line that counters both of them. So spear, I can either uh, if I choose imp spear here, it's not very good because his second line calf is attacking my first line infantry at x3. So if I'm looking at this, I'll go spear because my spears goes even and I'm dealing 0.3 to hips. And in this way, I would want to choose infantry because my infantry is dealing x3 to him but it's not getting hit by their calf. Same logic applies. So you can, uh, after explaining to this, you can visualize what formation to go to. Then there, there will be infantry spear and spear calf and calf inf. So, same logic, if I'm infantry spear, I would put inf my, as my front line. Yep, sorry, I'll put imp as my front line, I'll go imp calf to wreck him. Then if my spear, I'll go spear inf. And if my calf, I will go calf spear. Okay, this is the basic of formation. Uh, I'm not sure whether I explained it correctly, but if you get my train of thought, you can see where I'm going. So this is, has a very important assumption that stats are equal and composition are equal. There are some times whereby you can, the composition affects the formation because like, if my calf kills his 100k infantry, my calf will be fighting his calf then it will not be 3 is to 1 already. It will be 1 is to 1. If my calf imp if is fighting with his cavalry spear, then his spear will be doing damage to my calf. So you must actually look at the composition and weigh out whether your front line will die or you will tank the whole front line for the whole 45 seconds. Remember, a fight only goes on for 45 seconds. And there are basic many variable uh var variables that affect this, such as either either you're attacking, defending, or both attacking. So if you want to practice your formation choice, you and you're in the early stages, you can always practice on a rebel camp and see if it's op uh, what formation gives you the least amount of death and wounded. Okay, so this is basically a very short video to explain formation. Uh, this is just the basic idea. I hope you guys get it. But uh, if you don't get it, then you can PM me. I can go into detail in the comments.